largest center in between uh, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. We pretty much see everything from your general bread and butter COPD all the way to advanced pulmonary hypertension patients as well. So I see a lot of patients in my pulmonary clinic that I probably wouldn't see in a large uh, urban setting, um, especially with the underserved and Amish population around here. Our interventional pulmonary group is uh, very advanced. We even have our own interventional pulmonary fellowship and we do a lot of procedures in our IP departments that uh, isn't done at a lot of medical centers. Uh, likewise, we do our own right heart catheterizations with Dr. Chu, uh, which is a fantastic experience. So another unique aspect to our program is our critical care ultrasound curriculum. We have sessions that occur every month. Uh, in, as part of our regular conference schedule, but in addition to that, I provide hands-on training with all of our fellows weekly um, to make sure that they also learn image acquisition skills in addition to the technical skills and interpretation skills that are needed to use uh, bedside ultrasound uh, in the ICU setting and in, and in other settings. Then there are opportunities that we provide for the, each of the individual fellows that are unique to them. That we pay attention to you. We talk with you on a regular basis to find out your needs that, you know, working with you to develop what you want to be in your future. We actually have monthly meeting with our fellows to discuss options, their thoughts, their concerns, and we work on those to try to make each of the areas uniquely theirs. I'm part of the clinician educator track and that allows us to have ability to have teaching opportunities within the communities. Um, you take a two-week medical education course which was actually fantastic. Um, to help hone some of those skills, meet a lot of educators in the community. We've added a lot more flexibility into the second and third years with more elective time, more time for research. Uh, I, find, I think that's something really important is to have time for yourself um, beyond what's required by ACGME. If you're interested in more community practice or private practice, you're able to morph your rotations and your schedule to fit what you feel is best that you need to become a good clinician. Uh, the program leadership really guides you to try to figure out who you want your mentors to be. We have a very diverse group of faculty. Some of them are more veteran physicians, some of them are more younger. Our associate program director, uh, he's been very, very invested in regards to the education portion and also the mentorship. Um, he particularly is my mentor, so uh, he's kind of shaped me in a way to like try and identify what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses, and kind of build up from that. Many of our fellows have participated in the Clinician Educator Track or the Hippocrates Program, which are programs that are dedicated to training future clinician educators, that they provide the training to understand what goes on in medical education, the expertise to set them apart from other potential candidates um, who are applying for similar jobs. Uh, additionally, we have the opportunity for people who are interested to um, pursue classes with the uh, Penn State campus in adult education. For fellows who are interested in pursuing a career in research, we have multiple faculty with NIH awards who have successfully mentored fellows in various research projects. I think this area in particular offers a lot. Um, you know, it's up and coming, it's expanding. Uh, we're also uniquely positioned because we, we are in a central area where we can do things in the mountains and then go to the shore. Uh, we can go to the city, we can go to Washington, we can go to Philadelphia, we can go to uh, New York if we so choose. There's local sports that you can go to. Um, the restaurant scene is very very good. I like enjoy it a lot. Region definitely offers a variety of things that one can do. We all understand sort of what it means when you have family emergencies and you need to take off and someone needs to cover you. This is what most of the people here have to deal with. We're well prepared to do so. We look upon what we've learned from our own programs and look at what we have in front of us and try to make it even better. I think whatever you want to do, they, they find a way to help you get there. With our having our shared office, all working together, collaborating together, I think that's one of the best parts of training is working with your colleagues, relying on each other. We really all work together and support each other. My hope is that we give you the experiences to help you figure out what you want to do and that we then provide you with the training to make sure that you get to where you want to go with your career afterwards.